Y'all know what it is, Raiders, bitch. <laughs> Just win, baby. Let's go. What is up, Raider Nation? And welcome back to another episode of the Oost Nation Podcast with your boy, Simone Raider, and my co-host, Mr. Fitz. Y'all know what it is, Raiders, bitch. Come on. You already know. And we got a very, very special guest for episode 24. We finally got family in the building, man. <laughs> we got my Oost, Isaiah uh, Pullamel, man. Yeah, what's up, man? Shout out the Oost Nation Podcast, man. Let's do this. Man, I appreciate you coming on, man. Hey, what's that? What's that? Hell yeah, go <laughs> storm, man. I see, I see. Well, not our <laughs> monster. <laughs> We were, nah, talking, we, we were talking about it before. It was yeah. like, man, we want to join the Mustache Mafia, but we got to lose some weight. For <laughs> like, we got to keep the beard on for us right now. Yeah, nah, you, but man. Uh, yeah, man, thank you again for coming on, man. It's a huge privilege. We we always wanted to have you on because you're, I think, one of the only polys on. Well, there's some other ones. A couple, yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple other polys. It's not a lot of us, though. I, I forgot. Because we were supposed to have uh, Kyle, remember? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle was supposed to hop on here. He was about to hop Kyle. on after the Niner game, and then he got cut. He got cut. The, yeah, and then went he to, was like, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, he was out of there quick. Eh? Uh, but, uh, man, how, how are you doing, man? How's the week and, and, and whatnot, man? Man, feeling good. Uh, season's over, so, you know, it's a little bittersweet, but yeah, feeling good. Got to let the body rest and just kind of get back to myself. Yeah. Do, do you look forward to the offseason sometimes, or do you kind of just miss the whole – Sometimes, but like I really just don't be knowing what to do my do with myself. Like it's just too much time sitting at the oh, yeah. house. Like you know, and then hit us up. We barbecue a lot during the summer. <laughs> no, I'll be there. Shit. Hey. Do you hey, have a lot? Of, uh, do you have a lot of family out here in Vegas or not really? Uh, not really. Most of my family's back home in Cali or AZ. Oh, so okay, kind of just me out here. What part of Cali are is your family from? Or like Santa Ana, Long Beach. Santa Ana oh. in the house. Santa Ana, Long Beach, yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I got the whole city blasting on my back, Where? top to bottom. Oh yeah, now that's all tough. <laughs> I do always. It's my profile picking a lot of shit. Oh yeah, oh, now yeah that's you're right. Hard. Yeah, but yeah, all my family's still back home. Really, AZ, my mom's side, and my dad's oh, nice. side, like Santa Ana, Inglewood, Long Beach. That's funny because your uncle um, Ken uh, Ken Pola. <laughs> Yeah, he reached out to me in the DMs, and he, then he started asking me questions about my family. Oh, that's cool. And then he was like, oh, that's your family? I was like, yeah, it's my mom and my, my stepdad, and he was tripping out. So Yeah, it's crazy how all the old heads know everybody. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. you're the fight for our son. Like, <laughs> like how do you know? Like, <laughs> you just go off of your last name, too. Yeah, yeah. no. It's you crazy. find out your whole family, too, just by talking to people, right. you know? Yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah, growing up in Arizona, I know we kind of talked about this before. I didn't know that you – Play for the Raiders, or at least yeah. East Mesa Raiders. Is that the reason why you became a Raider fan, or you just like them from the well, get? Yeah, uh, growing up, once I played for the Raiders, then I started looking into like the history of it and like kind of looking at what they're about, and then that's when I really fell in love with it. So it was Raiders and the Steelers growing up. Oh, okay. They kind of both had the yeah. same style of really defense because I was a defender. So like mm. you know the steel curtain and then just close line, rip your helmet off, <laughs> like. Yeah. That was that was my style. Do, do you kind of wish that you guys still would be able to do that? Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> everybody want to see touchdown yeah. nowadays. They don't want to see somebody get their head taken off. So, I, I mean, know. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm with you on that one. I mean, I wish it was a little bit more lenient so we could all play football. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, they looking out for the players. So No, I'm already knowing. It ain't bad. So, so does your Steeler fandom come from, like, your uncle playing? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, okay. 100%. As you guys are, don't already know. Troy Polamalu's uncle, right? Yeah. Legend. Well, you know, technically cousin, but, you know, in our culture, oh, okay, like, okay. he's older. older. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of those. Yeah. A lot of those. Yeah, we're, we're cousins. <laughs> yeah. So, have you been to a, a Stiller game or v- witnessed it, like, just, or witnessed him playing it live? Uh, yeah. They came to Arizona and played the Cardinals, what, like, it might have been, like, 11, 2011, maybe. Oh, okay. But, uh, so, it was a while back, long time ago, but it, that was, like, pretty cool. Do you like getting the comparisons? I'm pretty sure a lot of people compare you to him a lot or yeah. or whatnot. I mean, for me, it's more of like uh, blazing my own trail type of thing. Like, yeah, that's my family. That's my uncle and, and everything, and I love him and all that. But, uh, you know, I want to be known for myself, yeah, not facts. just, not just you know, oh, he's Troy Polamalu's nephew. Yeah, like, yeah, that's cool and all that, like the hype and everything. But, you know, at the end of the day, I want to be my own person. I, I've been seeing you make plays here and there. I know – the minutes haven't always been there, but when you've been yeah. on the field, man, factor, you, yeah, you you you've been killing it. And I know uh, starting last uh, preseason, man, you got a pick six yeah. in L. A. Hell yeah, that so was you, Did cool. you have family out there? Oh yeah, what I had hella family out there. Yeah, the whole so that was, <laughs> that was gonna, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Somebody threw a beer can on the field. So, oh, for real? Hell yeah, that was cool. I hopped over it like. 
Oh, dude, that that was crazy. That was a crazy moment because I remember watching that and I was like, "Yo, that's my cousin, right?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, how many family members have you gained from since playing it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man! Every, oh, everybody coming out yeah, the yeah. woods. Wow. How does it feel playing for your favorite team? Because I didn't know this before we talked, but you were a Raider fan growing yeah. up. I mean, honestly, it's like just being at home, really, like. You know, and it also helps to have my uncle coaching there, too. So, like, it really is, like, at Shout home. Ken. Like, Ken. Yeah, hell yeah. So, I mean, Arizona. I mean, it reminds me of Arizona. Like, too much. Everything about it is just home for me. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I couldn't really ask for nothing else. And how have how have you been liking Vegas so far, you know, compared to Arizona or SoCal? Yeah. I mean, uh, compared to Arizona, it's just a lot more to do. You know, I mean, especially with the strip and, like, the food. It's just always mm-hmm. something going 24/7. on. 24-7. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's just something. always something going on. So it kind of reminds me of, like, a little bit of L.A. and Arizona put together. Oh, okay. L.A., you know, it's yeah, always yeah. something going always on. Always something going yeah. on. <laughs> like, whatever you, you, whatever you want to do, there's something to do. So that's pretty cool. So, I mean, I, I like it out here. I could see myself being here for a little bit. Okay. And, and outside of, like, eating, have you done anything else that you, you like out here? Nothing, like, specific to Vegas. Like, you know, I go bowling a lot. Oh, yeah. I, I go fishing a little bit. Becoming Fishing's an outdoors, fun. Yeah, becoming an outdoorsman out here, so that's pretty cool. But it, it just sucks that Lake Mead is kind of the only place. <laughs> that's the only place. <laughs> you got a boat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know where the spots are. Yeah, yeah. Fishing like, at Lake Mead sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of tough. Do you do you go out? Do you go back home to Cali a lot or no? Uh, Yeah, my wife's out there, so I go back. I'm about to oh, head okay. back uh, Sunday, actually, but uh, I'm going to be out there, like, a little bit of the off season, but oh, okay. also gonna be back here. Make sure they see my face. Oh, nice man! Shout out to you and the wifey, man. You guys yeah. got married last year, man. Hell yeah! How, how, how's the married life, man? Oh, it's crazy, man. It, it's a lot goes into it. You know, it's ups and downs, all type of crazy oh, yeah. stuff. Yep. But uh, you know, it's it's nice. I like it. You still able to play video games all the time, or? Oh yeah, here and there. <laughs> here and there. I, I learned that all. <laughs> I don't get I, all that freedom yeah, anymore. Nah. Like, that's that's a downside for sure. <laughs> Even with the yeah. long distance. Like. Yeah, nah, that's the only time I really be playing like the long distance. You know, yeah, we'll yeah. be on FaceTime though. Like just put the kick. phone down FaceTime. Yeah. Right? One <laughs> headset <laughs> off, like still hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get in trouble if I put both headsets on. And it's like ah, nothing. Then she's mad at me. So speaking of that, I mean, we we talked a little bit before, man. You're a huge gamer, man. What's your favorite game to play so far? Right now, Call of Duty, but I have. Love hate relationship with Call of Duty. So <laughs> sometimes I just can't do it, and then other days I'm just yeah. hitting. I'm on. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, but, uh, it'd be those, I feel like for me that the best times I be playing is the time when I I don't have a lot of time to play. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always the times I have a lot of time to play. Nobody's online. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Well, we've only are. the two years we we've, we've known each other. We only played once. Once. Oh. And that one time we got a dub. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fortnite, but we played Fortnite. Okay. Though. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, no, that, that's that was, cool. Getting back to the Raider talk and, and this season. I mean, a lot's happened. Uh, this last season. Yeah. I mean, I felt like there was a lot of games that we could have won, that we didn't win. But h- how was the vibes with you this season and being around the team? It really feels like two different years, honestly. Like, yeah. you know, right. with McDaniels and then with AP, like, it, it really is completely different. Yeah. And it's crazy. You know, shout out AP. But, um, you know, with the vibes, I mean, everybody is just themselves. You know, I feel like everybody you, is able to tell that. Huh? Yeah. And, you know, that's what Raiders is. You know, got it's different characters. Diff- everybody's just themselves and being yeah. really authentically themselves. So, yeah. I mean, that's what I feel like we was missing a lot. So, a lot of that attributes to how hard we go, too. Like, you know, we really care about each other too, yeah, and yeah. all that. Like, uh, that helps. For sure. That that goes right into my, my next point, man. Obviously, AP, he's been the talk. Of the nation, for sure. I mean, we're in the Raider Nation. Oh, yeah. And we've oh, been yeah. hearing it. I mean, I know you heard it the last game. Everybody was cheering for AP. Yeah. So I wanted to get your thoughts on AP, and would you want him back? 100% yes. Absolutely. I mean, like, I was lining up for kickoff, and I ain't never heard the crowd shout any coach. Like, not just here, well, see, right? college. We are just talking about Anywhere. That. Like, yeah. I've never I've never been a part of something like that. So to witness that and, and see the whole crowd shout AP, I'm like, man. He's got to be the head coach. Like, yeah. it shouldn't be anything else. Like, everybody's behind him. You know, not just the crowd, the fans, but the, the team itself. The Anybody in the upstairs building. Like, yeah. everybody's rocking with AP. I mean, he has to be the guy. There, there's definitely a different vibe with both coaches, right? Yeah. 
when did you find out about Josh McDaniels? Like the the whole thing. I know it happened on Halloween night. We always <laughs> yeah. talk about it. It was like guys, you probably were trick or treating. It was like, damn, I ain't got no job no more. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even think about it like yeah. that. But um, I mean, you know, that's kind of the business that yeah. everybody signs up for. But um, you know, I found out I was on Twitter. Like my agent sent me a a Twitter notification. I'm like, damn, I see five McDaniels. So, I mean, immediately I just thought, like, man, I feel bad, you know, for his family and yeah, everything. Yeah. But, like, like I said, it's part of the business, cutthroat. Like, yeah. they'll fire us with a quickness and yeah. no if, ands, buts, nothing. No second thought to it. So, I mean, it'd be all right. And, and last thing, at least about this season, man, what has been your best moment so far this season, at least? This season? Uh, I think it's got to be the Miami game. Yeah, you, you broke just, out that game, man. Yeah, kind of all around, like, you know, unfortunate reason why – I was out there, you know, my dog got hurt, Epps, um, yeah. but kind of just went out there, and the motto that week was don't blink. Yeah. You know, and that, I feel like it just happened so fast. You know, I wasn't able to, even if I tried to, I couldn't blink. You know, it was, yeah, yeah. I got to step up, be there for my dog. So, you know, I was able to do that, and, and I'm happy I was able to do that. No, nah, I mean, you stepped up big in that game, man. Hell yeah. Like I said, you probably grew What's more. What's got to do, man? I right, think that's, that's bro. Damn, man, I think about that. We held him to 30. I mean, you guys held him to 20, bro. It was 20, right? that shit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, yeah, only 20, but we scored 13. I mean, bro, we all got to do a better job. (laughs) I know it's not all y'all, though, but everybody's been seeing it. Like like we said, like the culture change and everything with AP, man. The defense, man, this is probably the best defense we've seen since since early 2000. That's what's so surprising with us. We've always had a solid offense, but our defense hasn't really been there. But Yeah, I got you. Under AP, man, you guys been killing it. Yeah. And in that game, you had – I have your stats right here. <laughs> Seven total tackles, one pass deflection, and an interception. I remember seeing that interception, too. I was like – when when Tua floated that one up in the air, I was like – and then you came down, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, no, I was, Oh, God, I was really back there looking. I'm like, ain't no way he about to throw this. So like, <laughs> he gets like this with the lefty. I'm like, oh, my oh, God. You know, he, <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck, yeah. He was like oh, – Hey, Polly on Polly crying right yeah. there. <laughs> my bad, it's, man. My yeah, bad. Like, hey, he's like, hey, good looking, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Appreciate the pick. No, hell yeah. yeah. That, hey, that was a crazy game. And there was a lot of games like that where we could have won. I know for us as fans, you know, we're fans, we're frustrated. And I know yeah. for you guys, you guys probably wish you guys could have them back. That Minnesota game was tough, too. Damn, bro, man. Bro. And that's bro. what I'm saying. Like, that was a tough one. You didn't go to that one, huh? Yeah, I was that's happy to saying. go. But bro, I was yeah, there nah. sitting there like... You what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I'm already knowing, man. He's like, yeah, they have no points right here. <laughs> Just give like, us something. Think back on the whole season, man. There's so many games. The Steelers game. Bro. Yeah, like, it's so bro. many teams, like, that honestly, like, when you're out there playing them, it's just like, you know, they're good. You know, they're they're well coached and all that. But it's, it's just plays that are left out there, yeah. you know. And you know to yourself, like, man, if we would have did this or could have had this – completely changed the uh, game and that's what i hate like just you know i mean that of course that's yeah. part of the game but like just having them regrets like that's why you, you gotta guys, leave it yeah. all out there man you guys could have easily been a playoff team this year with everything that went on that, yeah. that's why it was i think that's what's tough i mean we're eight and nine it's not the worst record to have yeah. i mean then, well, even like the colts game we should have won the colts game <laughs> Man. Bro, if you go back and I don't know if you guys watched the, the you guys watched the film. Yeah, they, nah, watched, hey. they have to watch nah, the film. We bro, so Jack, watch the Jack film. Jones was not off, man. He, he man. he's quick with that eye, bro. Now nah, he is. He, he he's been like that. They though. fucked us on that one. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, to we, the blind to the blind eye, it's like oh my god. Like, oh, sorry, <laughs> but you watch that shit that he was on point, bro. Yeah. Nah, I know yeah, it's yeah, been tough because. Because you came in the season after we went to the playoffs, right? 22. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know you didn't get to experience it, but I feel like we're almost there, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've been in it two years. And the funny thing, like, about the moment, you know, I remember I talked to you at Flanker, <clears throat> and then you say your, one of your favorite moments was the Chandler Jones thing. Yeah. Oh, he was there. Yeah, he was yeah, there. He got to yeah. experience it. I, I didn't. Crazy. Bro, it was crazy. Yeah. The whole crowd felt like. Like, it was what? done. It was like, oh, even yeah. I did. It was like, damn, the game's over. Fuck this shit. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was thinking it was done. But the next thing, you know, Chandler Jones, the, you know, yeah, Jacoby yeah. Myers. Shout out to uh, Jacoby Myers. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> bro, the whole stadium lit up after that. Nah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't know you was with Chandler Jones. When I went uh, back to yeah. look at the play, I was like, oh, let me put the play in. I was like, bro, he's right there with me. <laughs> I didn't know it was you wa- running crazy with him. because when he's stiff on Mac Jones, yeah. I'm telling him, pitch that motherfucker. <laughs> Pitch it, pitch it. Uh, he, he was, he was like, telling me, he's like, he was like, oh, I didn't even know you was there. I'm like, damn. 
It would have been. Yeah, I wish that. I wanted to just take that motherfucker, take it from him. Yeah. I thought he was just going to try to wrap his legs. Oh, and then fall or something like that. That would have been crazy. But I see you running. I was like, oh, that's why he went. Because he was there. You got to feel the roar. Yeah, hell yeah. In Allegiant Stadium, man. Like, as soon as he crossed the goal line, I'm like, oh, my God, it's rumbling. Like, man, when I watched it, crazy. What the heck? That's one of my favorite games I've been to. That was insane. And to the lead up to the touchdown, like uh, Keelan Cole, that like touchdown, that, oh, yeah, man, that That's touchdown, when I had my like viral that, this was oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was after the game. I walked up to all the Patriots fans because you know his toe was. It looked like it was on the line, but it yeah. wasn't. Oh, you too. So I walked up to everybody. Who was like, was it a touchdown? And when they go to answer, I'm like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, fact, People fact. was pissed when I was doing that. Oh, yeah, shit. I know. That was, that, was, that was definitely a crazy moment, though. Talking about getting drafted and whatnot. I know you were undrafted. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask, how was that feeling like going throughout the whole draft? Did you feel like, did you talk to a couple of teams and did you feel like you could get drafted? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, I was on the radar of a couple of teams, you know, and it was talk, you know, it was, yeah. it was just talk. Uh, but, you know, it's still like a, a little bit of a disappointment just because like I feel like you I was enough. good enough to, you know, get picked up somewhere. But, you know, at the end of the day, it all happens the way it's supposed to. And, yeah, yeah. you know, I have my choice and, you know. Raiders came up. Easy. So, yeah, well, made it Raiders easy for up, yeah, I was like, made it easy. Like, Uso, let's go. Yeah. Facts. It, it was a little disappointing. I'll say that. Yeah. But at least you're here, man. And, and the thing about the Raiders, we have a lot of good undrafted free agents that, mm-hmm. that's come this way. You know, we've had Jalen Richard a couple of years ago. We had yeah. Alec Ingold. So we have a lot of good. Damn, that's undrafted. true. He was here. So, like, now it's like, hey. It's, it's probably probably you next year. Nah, facts. Hopefully, get more PT next year though. But hey, you you've been you've been killing this so far. And I remember when they they, they brought you on and and you had the number forty. Is, yeah. it, is that what you were stuck <laughs> with or like? Hey, what? <laughs> they just gave me forty. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I get a forty like, or something like. Oh uh, man, I was trying to walk with it, man. I was like trying to convince myself, like, nah, it looks cool, like yeah. slim, like. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> like, nah, nah once man. 20 was available, I was like, hey, give me that. Yeah, so thank God that happened. And that was crazy because some players, just, they just grow into it. You know, I remember mm-hmm. when Hobbs got 39, I was like, that's a weird number. But yeah. now he's grown into it. The same with Max. I talked to his family, and they was like, they was trying to tell him, hey, go get zero now because zero's available. Zero's kind and he cool. was like, nah, nine eight's his number now. Yeah, so that's it, him. Like, that's yeah, him. it's him now. It's like, you can't change it. But now you got the 20. I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, man, is it? It's good to see family out there with a good number. You know? <laughs> Facts, man. But speaking of like your, your family ties and, and, and to the NFL and whatnot, how, how is it having you know Kennedy in the in the building? I know he's the running backs coach. Mm-hmm. I met him one time. I was trying to call him the other the other when I was on the field this last game. I was trying to call him. He was walking by, but he was acting like he didn't know me. But it's... But how's it to have family in the building at least? You know, like yeah, working there. It definitely, uh, it definitely helps. I'll say that because, uh, you know, in the building he keeps it professional. Like you know, at the end of the day, this we still working this yeah, on yeah. job, so he does keep it professional. But um, you know, every once in a while, especially OTAs, like coming into the season, like mm-hmm. he was big on just telling me little things like, "Hey, make sure you're doing the extra work. Like, make sure you're doing stuff after practice. Like, yeah. you're doing all this stuff so that you know you're ready when that time comes." Yeah, yeah. Cause like at uh, OTAs, that's like big when people are getting cut or signed or whatever. Yeah. So he was just there helping me, trying to be that guy in my ear, just help keep me motivated. But yeah. you know, even though I don't really need that, it's more like just helpful insight. Yeah, just to, to get that word in. And speaking of OTAs and training camp, man, how how is it, man? Training camp out here, I know it's hot. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. it's hot as hell. I'll say that. Shit, it's like, hot as hell for us in the stands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sweat like hey, yeah. I'm already knowing like there's nothing over there, but we got it. They fixed it up now. So oh, yeah, yeah, because we got the uh, we got the fans. The, with we the, got the fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah got the fans, and they just put like a little uh, awning type yeah. of thing over the yeah, stands. Yeah. So that's hopefully it's better. But yeah. That walk from the bus all the way over there, you're sweating by the time you oh, get yeah. to the seats. <laughs> nah, that, that's serious. Yeah. Right there. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh yeah, he be yeah. calling for the carts. <laughs> <laughs> I got gout. Hey, ADA, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. How is that experience, man? Like playing in Allegiant Stadium, man. Just a brand new stadium and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, you know, we've been to a couple different stadiums. Yeah. You know, only one that's really competing, maybe so far, maybe so far. But you know, Allegiant to me is is the best stadium out there. Like. No, no, like the black dome, like, come on, that's, yeah, no, no, that's it. Don't that's hard, right? Oh man, we got we got the. I mean, we're spoiled, man. That's that's what we tell other fans, man. 
is I don't even know how spoiled we are because we get halftime performances by like all these yeah, artists like, and all the teams do that. Yeah. We didn't even know that. Well, other teams, they probably got like local bands or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Try to put them on. <laughs> no. Try to no. put them on. <laughs> they had, uh, maybe it was this season or last season, but Lil Wayne came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm season. like, damn, I'm trying to stay out here. Like, <laughs> it's like, let me just, like, let's so, go back in the local room. Nah, that's cool though. I like that they do that. Who who has been like a mentor for you, at least for the players? Like who's been a person to take you under the wing? Or last year it was uh, Deron Harmon. Oh yeah, yeah, real OG man. Shout out, to, shout out to Do. But uh, he he really put me on to like just how to take care of your body. Mac Hollins from last year. He, oh, yeah. he was big. He was big oh, yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I follow him on TikTok. Yeah, he was big <laughs> on uh, taking care of your body and, and just being Making right, being a pro. Feet on the yeah, turf. he's crazy. Yeah. No, 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 he's, I see he's actually crazy. <laughs> I, I follow know. him on on TikTok and I be tripping out on his videos. Like, damn, I didn't know that. But yeah, yeah, yeah no, nah, some way out. Monday, <laughs> it's Monday little shits. Yeah, yeah he's, he's cool, man. I, he had me film a couple of them. I'm like, alright, nah, but he's cool. And then this year. 100% uh, Marcus Epps. You know, right there, man. Shout out to the Oos, man. Yeah, he grew he, up with the Usos. Yeah, he, he's a dog, man. He came in. He's just so smart. Yeah. He put me on a, a lot of things that, you know, I didn't really think about, like, yeah, just yeah. In, in terms of watching film and kind of understanding what opponents are trying to do to us. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he, he helped a lot. I know. That secondary room. Are you guys all close and stuff like that? Like, you guys hang out outside or? Oh, yeah. Like, we'll, we're always at, like, the casino or the... Uh, Eight, the cigar lounge. Oh yeah, yeah, the eight there, lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There a little bit. I say we're everybody pretty close. Moving from the Raiders, I, I know before that time you were a Trojan and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What was USC always your number one destination to go to, or were there other places you were thinking about? It was like uh, really between Washington, ASU, and then SC. Mm. And it, honestly, it came down to like the people. Yeah. Cause uh, on it's funny on the drive over here, I was thinking about my dog Jordan Iosefa. He's oh, okay. a middle yeah. linebacker, 56. He was there, but uh, he was he was my host at SC. Yeah. You know, it came down to, like, at Washington, I was uh, with Vita Vea. We was cool. Was, oh, everybody was chilling. Uh, and then ASU, I was kind of by myself. And then SC, Jordan took me under his wing. Vavai, Melipi, the running back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, him, yeah. And, him and Jordan, they was roommates. And I slept at their dorm room. I didn't even go back to the hotel room. Like oh. it was really like my cousin. Like <laughs> that's good. It's family. No, nah, really, it was cool. So, uh, shout out Jordan, man. Oh, nice. So I think about him and uh, yeah, I really came because you know SC was already my go-to. Like I already loved it. Yeah, there. yeah. But then the people there was cool. So, see, it's crazy because I grew up a SC fan. Really. So I grew up my my whole household was Raiders, USC. Yes, yeah. it was in Lakers. Yeah, yeah. so Hell like yeah. for us, you know, uh, SC was like our main college team. So yeah, you coming from SC and then just SC in general, man. That's it's a great school. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you play for some big, some big, you know, like franchises or, or, or teams. Nah, you know, obviously yeah. I see their rich history, and then now you come to the Raiders. Since we're on the topic of SC, how do you feel about Caleb Williams? He's a dog, man. Coming I in. I don't know. Somehow, some way, I wish we could get up there to one and get him. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, you he's, think he's it. The next one. I think so. He I doesn't think so. Think so. <laughs> you don't think so? Why is that? I, I, like I said, I grew up a SC fan, so for me, it's like out of the last 30, 40 quarterbacks come out of SC, name me one good one, like real good one. There's only one. Only, only John one. Booty only is. one. <laughs> Just <laughs> you don't yeah, remember John David Booty? Yeah. I remember I brought it up to these guys. They didn't even know who this guy. They thought I was joking. I was like, he's a real quarterback. Yeah, no. right? He's Booty. That's why yeah. I didn't know his name. But not nah, Carson Palmer. Carson, was, that's. But think of everybody else. Mark Sanchez. You know these you guys about are great to, the, to get how to it the translates league. to the league, or yeah, just like the, for me, like SC quarterback position, they're great college quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. This is my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. great none of them have college. been like Caleb Williams, though. That's different. You know, he's Matt, a different he has, no, Matt Liner, Matt Liner I mean, was not like great. Nah. He was great in college. Uh, who else? No, but like what, what he does, the traits that he has, the skills that he has. I don't that's, know, but that's, that's just true. That's, just that's true. true. Program. I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm just nervous. It, you yeah. want a defensive player? You go get it from SC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, man, yeah. but you know, I'm kind of kind of worried to trade up all that capital to get. But you, you, you would love to see him in the silver if it was possible, though. Yeah, it would. I would like that. Well, I trust your opinion. So just because. Yeah. He he does have a, a crazy deep ball. Yeah. And that that's I mean that's what oh, we I was need. there for I the like. SC and uh, Utah game, so 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't look at that game. <laughs> don't look at that game. We don't, we don't, don't look. talk about that game. Well, actually, that's the first time I ran into you. At the, uh, the SC Utah game, you walked by in front of me. I think I was like, hey, Isaiah. <laughs> and they're like, who the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you, you came right after I left Josh that Jacobs game, walked man. up. Yeah. I left that game. That was that was tough one to watch. I was yeah, hot. I was drunk. Yeah, I was hot. <laughs> no, but yeah, you're right, though. He, he has that deep ball. Like, he has everything you want in a quarterback. I know, like, the last couple of games wasn't really, but dude's mobile. He can make yeah. plays. I mean, shout out AOC. He's. Solid oh, dude yeah. too, but I mean, you can always have some competition in the in the quarterback room. Competition brings out the best in everybody. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, that's can't never go wrong with it. Yeah, there's a lot of good quarterbacks in this. Yeah, yeah in this draft. Yeah, I like I like Penix too. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, he's nice. Uh, who they play? Not miss, not the championship game, but they Texas. played. Yeah, they played my team. On I'm a Texas fan, and nah, he was on one. Yeah, yeah, from the jump too. I was like, damn. Uh, any of these young quarterbacks, if man, it'd be crazy. But yeah. what are your thoughts on like we we talked about this? What what are your thoughts on Justin Fields though? See, I keep hearing a rumor about him. <laughs> I keep seeing I it. We started the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, nah, he he's cool too. He's he's a crazy athlete. I mean, he's a playmaker for sure. He could get it done. Yeah. I mean, everybody's always talking about, like, oh, man, he sucks. Like, bro, he's running for his life back there. Like, he has no weapons. It's the same you know thing I'm saying. Like, he's running for his life. Look what he did, did with DJ Moore alone. Like, mm -hmm. bro, went crazy this year. So, I mean, you give him some real weapons to work with. And we got some weapons here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Could be serious. I like Justin Fields. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like all these quarterbacks other than uh, who, who's the quarterback we did? Oh, he like Kyler Murray. See, I've seen that too, but I yeah. don't. I don't think that Arizona's going to I just want to win right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, make man. something happen. Pull this guy. Pull this guy. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Nah, I, I, mean, I grew up a Raider fan all my life, so, you know, the last 20 years have been fucking hard. It's been tough, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's been, I understand. It's been tough understand. being a Raider that's fan. A, I'm not going to lie. That's an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> But I know you guys. You guys. You guys go through it even more because you guys are in the. You guys are playing. You guys yeah. wish you guys could have certain plays back and stuff. Us, we're just. You know, we're fans. just watching. <laughs> <laughs> has there been any like I know you're on social media here and there, not really too much, but mm -hmm. has there been like any fans that's gotten to you or been annoying? That been crazy, just doing too crazy, much. Crazy, whatever. I, I know we got a lot of crazy fans or even opposing fans. Not yeah. really. I mean, like you said, I, I'm not really on social media too much. For reasons like that, yeah, yeah. but uh, not really. Since college, I just haven't really been on it. That's good, though. Yeah. Shit, I've gotten death threats and all kinds of shit. Because <laughs> you see this guy's <laughs> content. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm cool off of that. Yeah. I don't want none of that. There's some diehard fans out there. Because, you know, I, I clown around. I clown teams. Yeah. People really get upset with the jokes, man. <laughs> I'll be telling people, it's just a video. Relax. Yeah, bro. like, <laughs> chill out, man. You're, yeah, you're all right. You're you safe. Know, Back in the days, especially when you're hanging with family, man. If you oh, can't, yeah, we'd be clowning. Oh, yeah. If you can't come back yeah. with anything, bro, you're just sitting there just fucking mad. The whole, thing, <laughs> the whole family like, just roasting you. It's like, just sitting there hot. Uh, you guys will see you one time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, the reason why I bring up USC real quick, I, I, I did want to ask, like, what was your favorite memory at USC? Getting Reggie Bush back in the Coliseum. Mm. We played uh, Utah. They were ranked 10. <clears throat> and... uh we 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 whooped they butt, damn they ass. <laughs> <laughs> At the Reggie, Coliseum, I, I, man, I remember I remember that that USC team, man, with Bush and oh, them. Yeah, Hell yeah, Coliseum oh, yes. crazy, man. Yeah, man. Hopefully we get back to those days sooner or later. The tables eventually turn. I feel like the Raiders are slowly turning that table around, man. Oh Just yeah, I AP. think so, man. I, I think the thing yeah. the thing that's different with AP that's been different with a lot of these other coaches is I know he's never been a head coach, so he doesn't have that experience. But yeah, he's been a leader like of men, and we've seen this last game, especially that post game uh, uh, talk that he had with you guys in the locker room after the game. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you could definitely tell that the players love playing for him. I mean, we've mm -hmm. talked to you. You've you've been vocal. We've talked to Brandon. All these other players. You hear Tay talk about it. Everybody wants him here. I wanted to also get your thoughts on, like, I know you hear everybody talk about Jim Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to talk about it or. Yeah, he's a great coach at the end of the day. Like, I understand where people are coming from, like, wanting to get a experienced winning coach, like, proven coach. Yeah. And, like, I feel like that's just kind of in the history of the Raiders, you know, to get that big name, yeah. that proven Facts. guy. So, I mean, that's understandable for everybody. But uh, I think the only thing that I would have to rebuttal on that is just AP 
is like the identity of the Raider way. Like yeah. he is the face of that. Like he gets the team wired he, up. Yeah, he embodies everything it is about the Raiders. Like yeah. you know, gritty, like punch you in your face, like down to earth, like real. And that's what we need, honestly. I mean, especially with the guys in the locker room. Like, it's not like that's exactly who we are. So, mm-hmm. I mean, to have a head coach the same way, who acts the same, says the same thing that we do, like, we rocking with him. It makes you want to play for the dude, too, yeah, huh? Like, through a wall. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're just regular fans, and a lot of people will be like, we want to go play, too, you know? Hell yeah. And, like, you know, he, even though he's not a head coach experience, like, he's still two time Super Bowl champion. Against True. the same guy, Tom Brady, like the greatest to ever do it. So it's yep. like, oh, you right. look on, and you look like everybody that's backing him, not just players, fans, but like players that played with him, coaches that pay, uh, were coaching him and all this, like stand up dude. So yeah, I mean, yeah. for me, he's like, once again, he's my choice. Like, I'm rocking with AP. That's yeah. what I said. I said, Jim Harbaugh needs to stay his ass in college <laughs> and leave us with AP because I don't want him going to the Chargers either. Yeah, no, he's, I, I he's, see. I he's see. going to go to the NFL. So yeah, yeah, like, it he, just depends stay on. Stay his ass in fucking college. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my thing too is like, uh, just tell Mark, you know, save your money because I know he's going to want a bag too, you know. Hell yeah. We pay two. Two coach. big ass fucking uh, coaches. Paychecks, like, yeah. I've seen, seen Leo, both of them like combined 20 million or something. Like, Way yeah. more than that. It's like, oh yeah, it was like a hundred, oh, man, hundred mil for uh, for John for ten years. For ten years, yeah. though. Oh my! But then, God. And then it was uh, I forgot what uh, McDaniel's was, but that was a that was a pretty penny too. So I mean, oh, yeah. like you save the money, you bring in AP, and I, I know there's a lot of other teams already trying to interview him for jobs because yeah. they see what he's doing with the Raiders. It's like. Dude, just offer this dude the job. Yeah, man, right I wish. Now, and just get to work, you know? I think they technically have to open yeah, the, they, the interviews to everybody. Facts, so, yeah. like, they have to do that. So, I mean, they were telling us, like, end of January maybe or, like, Super Bowl time probably. They'll figure out who it is. Yeah, but so I got my my tweets are on and all that. So, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's like, I'm well, waiting. I'm waiting. Like, uh, <laughs> yep. I'm is waiting he the coach yet or not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah facts. Yeah, no, that, I know. I I think. Not only you, but everybody has has been talking about that. And this is the first time I think most of Raider Nation have been behind somebody and yeah. are yeah. excited to see what's going to happen. I, 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 know I when, feel that same yeah that same energy too. Like I feel like everybody's rocking with everybody behind him. Because when when McDaniel's was here, everybody was wanting him gone. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a lot different. I mean, you guys probably don't talk a lot, but you guys probably see it all yeah. over the stadium, nah, and people yeah. are like, "Hey, fire!" Either one of our guys was over there in Mark's face, like, "Hey." <laughs> No, like, hey, we, see, boy, Mark, we see all that, man. We we hear the chance. They was instead of saying hire AP, it was saying fire. fire. Damn, I'm like, damn. Like, that's the only other time you ever heard a coach's name being nah, yelled at. Like, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like that's that matters to. I mean, that to me at least. Yeah, like, yeah. We could feel that, especially as players. Like the crowd not behind it. Like yeah, we we out here like we just, this our job and stuff. Like yeah, yeah. We just don't like losing either. Sure. So, I mean, we with y'all. I feel like a whole season could have been different if we had, you know, AP the whole, the whole way. time, yeah, right? Well, I, that, that's what makes it more exciting is, like, next year, hopefully they do bring them back. And we'll see yeah. what happens. And in the long run, if it doesn't work out, at least you tried, you know? Yeah. But Thanks. right now you got a guy that grew up a Raider fan. I love when he goes in, in the locker rooms and yelling Raiders. Like, Thanks. I've never seen no other coach do that, you know? Yeah. Like, did, did, you see the, <laughs> did you see the clip when he, he left the press conference? He, he, was, he, he uh, Raiders and then yeah. nobody said like kind of mad nobody said like, that shit. Like, shout out to the girl who was in there, but fact. I was like, damn, I was shaking my head. My boy Hondo didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, you see the clip? Yeah. Oh, I said, man. I see Hondo just over there, like no, nobody say Raiders. But... Well, we would have been yelling up in them. Yeah, that's y'all need to have us in the press. Like, <laughs> come on, man, Raiders hire us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One look is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Never mind. Like, <laughs> no, but I, I remember seeing that. I was like, oh, man, these guys, man. But, you know, everybody's doing their jobs. But I, I feel like he should be. You know, I for me, I, I was like, I don't care who it is. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm leaning towards AP, though, because, yeah. you know, everybody's wanting him here. But hopefully we we find out that he's going to be the next head coach. And then we could just move on from there because I feel like we're only a couple pieces away from being a, a great team next year, yeah, to too. be honest. Yeah. I mean, I look at it like this. Like, I see teams like uh, the Browns. Yeah. To me, we are very similar. Crazy defense. Few pieces on offense missing. You know, they have they have riddled with hella yeah. injuries and stuff. So I mean, regardless, offense not helping. So I mean, 
they're what ten and five, eleven and five. Yeah, eight and nine. Like we could have easily. He was been. right there. Yeah, we could have easily. Like, and that's that's just the league. It's hard to win. Like you got to do everything right. So, yeah. I mean, but damn, I think that stuff like that all the time. Like, man, we could we could e- easily be playing this week, sure getting ready easy. at least. Like, I'll be at practice right now. Like, yep. I know. <laughs> Not on the podcast. Man. <laughs> we had to wait until. We had to wait until. <laughs> well, yeah, Mars, I, mean, I would have been fine with it. Me know? too. But, yeah, I, I, there, there was some questions because, you know, AP wasn't perfect. I, I know there was a lot of – but I, I think he's still going to be a – he's a solid leader, I think. Yeah. Um, one thing for me is, like, you know, like those close games we talk about, you know, Miami – I mean, not Miami, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. When we lost 3-0. to zero. Tough one. Hurts. I wish they could have just put Jimmy G. <laughs> that was how I felt. It's crazy. We put Jimmy – Jimmy and uh, the last Broncos. game, everybody start booing. I'm like, damn. Bro, everybody. I'm like, damn. I said, damn. Hey, don't, don't do my quarterback like that. He got two Jimmy. plays. Like, yeah, I know. He he had two. He's pro Jimmy. I'm pro AOC. Yeah, we're, we're both on the opposite of the. We're I like split. AOC, though. But I, I like, man, give let Jimmy play with under AP, you know? And yeah, I think they're booing him, but all he did he was did. hand off yeah. the ball twice. Bro. <laughs> hand off Jimmy. Hey. Shout out to Jimmy, though, man. Yeah. Shout out to AOC, too. Yeah. He, he, Mustache pop. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to talk about Mark Davis. I mean, I, I don't know if you do, but do you have any, like, funny story with Mark Davis? Have you met Mark Davis? Nah, I haven't met no. him. Yeah. Nah, I haven't met him. <laughs> yeah. no. You got to catch him I, at a PF change or something. I held out my head. You know, he's he big timing, man. He, <laughs> he big time. He, big time. He went to Max, so, you know, I was, was like, like oh, it's all right. good. It's cool. It's cool. It's Whatever. all good. In a couple of years, you're going to come to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would have been like this. Hey, no, nah, right. facts. I got myself up <laughs> right to my locker. Like, yeah. Head down like them. <laughs> come on, nah, Mark. <laughs> show those some love, man. No, nah, he don't know. He was, he he was walking by the uh, on the film. I was like, hey, Mark. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the Black Holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of the playoffs and whatnot, you know, obviously, we're not going to be playing in our stadium, but uh, – there's going to be a lot of other teams fine for uh, the Super Bowl. What's your Super Bowl prediction? I think the Ravens take it. Oh, I, I told you. The Ravens take it. Just the way they're playing right now, and they already whooped up on the 49ers, so it's like if they if they mean the head in the uh, big one, I think the Ra- Ravens got it. Their yeah. defense is too crazy. They're playing ridiculous right now. Lamar Jackson, that's all and you got to say. And just added Dalvin Cook over there. Man. That's, well, that's crazy. a trip. Man, they have a little cheat code of the season. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Is it because you see the logo, it has purple and uh, red, red in there, in so it. Niners and uh oh, Ravens I'm thinking the Niners. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> he said the Niners Chiefs. I said, hell no. Nah. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean, I hope I'm wrong on both those teams. But, but. I, but I do see that because I said I said the Ravens gonna be in there at least because I seen the color, yeah. the colorway, because people have been talking about that every year. Everybody, yeah, everybody always says that, like, <laughs> oh, that's the prediction that they came out with the uh what is it, the script? Yeah, the script. <laughs> Did you get your script for the year or no? Oh no, no. For next year. <laughs> oh, I think it's next year. I gotta the wait. Next, we, oh. we, we had a conspiracy theory. Yeah, but that, that was a hell off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell off. But no, no, yeah. I mean, hopefully when you get the script, just let us know what <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, give us the heads up. Yeah. <laughs> now that's gonna be crazy. I, for me, it's like I just don't want the Niners. I, I, that's the number one team I don't yeah, like is the Niners. Me either. Yeah. Honestly, I just don't want to see a whole week or two of Niners fans out here getting ready for the. I, I don't care about the Cowboys. Yeah. But I don't really I mean, like Cowboys, Niners. man. I want it to be the Lions and the Cleveland Browns. That'd be a great Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like to see the Lions in there. Yeah, the Lions. I like, I like, they're a good team. I like. Yeah, we uh, played them too, and that was Jimmy's last game. <laughs> it was free Jimmy yeah. dog. I was joking. <laughs> nah, um, we should have won that game too, man. It's, well, there was a lot of games that we could, every week. I feel like we could have won. Every but year, I mean, like, you were there last year. Were you there beginning of the season last year when we played the the Cardinals? Hell yeah. She. Bro. Hell yeah. We was, we was all celebrating halftime. Like, bro, we got this, bro. We <laughs> were sitting there and the excitement went down. Like, oh, it was starting to go down. Oh, and, 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 uh, and, and over time, I was like, oh, we got this. <laughs> and then Hunter phone with the boss said, what? Yeah, man. We got uh, Midget Murray over there running around and fucking so scrambling. The longest shit. play of history. Right? Well, that was the longest play of history. Yeah. You know, but see, it, down. So you, I wanted to do a us, video you know. after that game, but I was too angry. I yeah. wanted to go home and like have everybody stand around like we're on the line. Yeah, in Raiders clothes, and then my son run around <laughs> and run between our legs with the phone, like uh, POV. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been a good one. I ain't gonna lie. That would have been a good one. I was too pissed, bro. Yeah. I was like, we're three and zero right now. Fuck this video. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, nah, that, was, that was a lot of tough ones last year, man, for us to, to watch. But hell yeah. I know this year it's going to be different, man. It's, it's going to be, be our different. year. It's our, <laughs> it's our year. year. It's our year <laughs> this year. Dog. So, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I, I do got some quick questions. Uh, before we do head out of here, man, I, I appreciate you coming on those. I got, so. I got one too. Go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, fire him. Favorite Fiji cut. Mm. Damn. Okay, hold on. I was just listening to one. Uh, Cause Fiji knows this. Nah, guy. you know a Fiji's You know one himself. that I haven't heard in a while that I uh, could only find on SoundCloud. Who? It's called a uh, special girl. Special girl. By who? I, by Fiji, right? Fiji. Yup. Hold on. I think oh. I know which one you're talking but about. I haven't heard it in a minute. It's real old. You can't even like. It's not good quality, but. Oh, somebody, you, you know, somebody cousin put this on. I got some of that unreleased Fiji too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't send it to oh, nobody. This I told one, remember this one? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. 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 come on, bro, bro, I can't a find long it time ago, high bro. School, bro. That's nah, high school right there, bro. Like real old. Fiji. Like I remember with my MP3 player to have my headphones Download on, like LimeWire, dog. Right. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, that's that's yeah. Cut right there. Gotta, I gotta go. Re you ever heard Rewind? Rewind. Yeah. To go on. It might, you know, sound like Fiji. It might be, yeah, unreleased. He probably got unreleased. Ones. Nah, I don't think. <laughs> not from the guy himself, but <laughs> you know, it's, there, man, he got some bangers. It was like I'm already know. There was a lot of unreleased. You know, there was one time where we were all kicking in shit, and and my older Uso is actually a good friend of his, mm -hmm. and man, he had some cuts. I was like, why aren't you dropping this? And he's yeah. like, oh, you know, just unreleased. Well, can I get some, please? <laughs> please, yeah, I'm huh? playing it at all the family functions. Yeah, he, he, he a yeah. legend, bro. Like no, he is. It's Fiji the goat. And it's funny you didn't so, know he was a Raider fan. He, I did it. That's crazy, Raider bro. Uh, Always hitting like him and like bugging all of them. Go back and forth because we see it yeah. though. And, but then he follows this guy. He don't follow me. Man. All <laughs> <of> them, <laughs> and no, that's hella yeah. cool though. No, but yeah, he had that high Raider fan. We are supposed to have him on here too sometime too. So, yeah. Sooner or later, yep. yeah, yeah. Because I was like, man, I grew up listening to this dude all the time, man. Nah, oh, yeah, yeah. So I was like, gotta get because yeah. he's been to a couple Raider games though here and there. Ah, man, but I wish I could have seen that. We got, yeah, we got to get him Next on. Next time he's there, I'll let you know. Yeah, please yeah. do. Put that'd him on the be field, cool. Though, the wind right? field. Yeah, I'll get him. <laughs> National anthem. Oh, <laughs> that hey, would be hey, hard. That would be hard, bro. He, he did that at Steelers. Yeah, that he got to come over here. Got him, bro. The Raiders got. It's only right. I gotta Raiders. hit him. I gotta hit the people come with the on, Raiders, man, come bro. On. Put Fiji on, bro. Halftime no. show, people yep. be like, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> All the Islanders, though. Like, oh, yeah, no, fact, bro. Yeah. The Ninth <laughs> Island, bro. <laughs> nah, on our turf. Every, now. Yeah. Fact. What, what did you find out that it was called the Ninth Island? Because I didn't know until Marcus got here. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, uh, it must have been. Uh, I think Myron. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. My, I think Myron told me. So he was like, "Yeah, it was this hella uh, poly." Probably restaurants out here. I'm like, yeah, put me on, whatever. He's like, yes, the Ninth Island out here. I'm like, huh? He's like, have you had, speaking of uh, Islander restaurants, have you had uh, Uncle Frank's Hawaiian barbecue? Mm -mm. Fire. Really? Wow, that's one of my my three favorite spots, <laughs> four favorite spots Uncle Frank's Hawaiian barbecue, Matiki's, Matiki. Generational Matiki's? Kitchen. Yeah, Matiki. Okay. Same one from Orange County they got out here. Okay. And uh, it's a new spot that I just tried, but fire. Uh, grinds to the max. Grinds. Okay. Fire. Right now, my favorites is uh, can't go on L and L. Yeah. And then uh, Island Flavor just can't, I just got put that. onto Bro, that I'm one. I'm always at Island that. Flavor because it's right next to my house. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, that was fast. Serious. I just go there and order my machine and go right back home. <laughs> Talking about the one right there next to the smoke shop, right? Yep. So that, that smoke shop uh, off of what was it? I don't want to say it so people don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> but that spot you're talking about, that smoke shop, it's called Puffs and Gifts Smoke Shop. That's owned yeah. by my, my real good friend. Yeah. He owns several smoke shops in Vegas. Okay. That's crazy. H have you tried the Zippies out here? Nah. Have you ever tried Zippies? Oh. What is that? That's like a sports bar, right? No, no Zippies is the Hawaii, Hawaii spot. Remember? Oh, no. Nah, I ain't never been there. Oh, because it's a, it's a Hawaiian uh, spot. Uh, and this is the only one in America. Or no. <laughs> Hawaii's the in America. In the main man. Man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you. Okay. Yeah, it's the only one out here. They opened it over here a couple months ago, bro. All the Hawaiians uh, know about it. I gotta go try that. It, it's pretty solid. It, it's not too one. bad out there. I, I don't know if you've seen. I, I posted the reel today about like us talking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People was giving you flack on uh, Maoli <laughs> because it, it, I guess it's from Maoli. Maoli. You, you know my, my bad dog. My bad. He said. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, cut through some braids, yeah, man. Yeah, my bad, dog. But he has a lot of bangers, too. Have you ever watched him live or not? Nah, not live. He, I just actually... got put onto his country music, too. Bro, oh, yeah. bro his country, He got a bro. banger out. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was like, dang, where was you around my wedding time? <laughs> All his bangers that he be yeah, having. Yeah. But he's gonna come out here to Vegas at the... 
I think about March. I thought I, I thought I did see some. Yeah, because he can go on tour. Cool. I'm gonna be okay. There. I have another question. Who is on your Mount Rushmore of all time poly players? Any position? Any position. Troy Polamalu. Definitely. Um, Junior Seau. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesse Sapolu. Niners, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's in there. And uh, see, this goes back and forth. Lofa Tutupu. Mm. Or Ray. SC oh, fight dang. on. Yeah, I remember Rad. I know some of his family from Cali. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at He was a dog. Two years of Sobo? Nah. <laughs> two years of Sobo? <laughs> <laughs> My other uncle. Uh, no, two years uh, yeah. of Sobo? <laughs> <laughs> <Sobos? laughs> oh, okay, not Manta. <laughs> oh, my dog Manta. Yeah, Manta I worked, tail, I worked out with him. He, he's hella cool. Good people. You know him or no? Yeah, I worked out with him. Uh, oh, me nice. and him both worked out with my uncle Troy. He, he, he knows the girlfriend. Oh, I, I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, you. Uh, really does. I, I, I do. Uh, I knew him funny. before. The actual. Before. Yeah. I do know the uh, person. I know, I know the yeah. person that catfished him. These I went to church oh, with I went to church oh, with him. I really did. I, oh. I went to like church with him. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't joking. He really knows him. I don't know uh. her. I know him. <laughs> No, but that, that, that was a that was a crazy. You watched the documentary? It was crazy, huh? Yeah, I did Bro, see I it. That was bad as man, fuck, I, man. Hella bad. I wanted to go over there and punch something. And, and, and like meeting him, he is so he oh, such that humble, person. Like, bro. He is so that person. Like that's just so sad to see. Because he was on top of the world, like. Yeah, that man. time Manti was all over. I wanted him man, to come to the Raiders. I wanted him to man. be a Raider so bad because we needed a linebacker too, man, bro. But then you know, that whole thing happened. I was like, damn, that, that had to. I'm already right, right before the, the. He just fucked up his whole career because of that shit. It was, and then it was all mental too, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, I mean, shit. Understandably, like a lot of that is mental. Like, yeah, for a lot of players, it's uh, everything is mental. Like, you know, talk the big talk, but like at the end of the day, it's what you're telling yeah. yourself. Like, that's and that's real, man. Especially I when you hear everybody coming at you or yeah. talking about you. Hell yeah, man. It, it gets to you, man. I used to get mad, you know, when people would talk about it. But I mean, even though I didn't know him. Yeah. Like, Neither who's so alone, motherfucker. Like, yeah, I'm like, man, you don't even know this nigga. Like, yeah. Like, I'll stop. But, you know, it's funny. The the girl, or Ronaya. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he's actually he grew up a Raider fan. He's related to Marcus. That's his uncle, Tuiasa Sopo. Because he's his last name really? is Tuyasu, it's Ronayo Tuiasa Sopo. So he's related to Marcus, and he grew up a Raider fan. And the mm-hmm. funny thing about it is, like you know, when we played the Chargers, Raider fans were letting him have it though. They had a yeah. whole uh, banner in the black hole. It was like uh, uh, shout out Lene Kaku or something like that. Uh, that's and I was like, I hey, did. that's, yeah, that's a little too up. far. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's, that's yeah. Raider, Raider fans be ruthless. Uh, they're nicer in Vegas though now. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Do you have Do you have an ultimate goal in the NFL? That's a great question. And honestly, right now, I'm just trying to make it make yeah. my make my own little role, whatever it is, you know. And, and especially coming into next year, it's it's gonna be a big off season. So yeah, right now I just gotta. Right now, everything's short term. I just gotta earn yeah. a starting spot eventually. I like that. Exactly. Hey, we're going to be rooting for you. Yeah, we but, yeah. appreciate you. Know? The, do you want me to ask you or are you going to ask you? That was the last one. Go ahead. If, if, you, if you have one. How, how how did you word it? Which one? What's the difference between the change of this year's defense versus last year's? Mm, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. Ask it. Recording. What's the difference between this year's defense versus last year's defense? It's a big difference. Bro. Yeah, huge difference. And honestly, it all starts with our D.C., Mm-hmm. For, like it, it begins with him, Patrick yeah, yep. Patrick Graham. You know he last year he came out and told us like basically like you know he's not having fun, and understandably n- nobody was having fun at the time. Like it, we're losing, just yeah. not playing to the best of our ability. You know all type of stuff. But uh, this year he kept it simple, you know, and and he really took it to heart when. A lot of guys said, like, you know, just not listening to us. You know, we have input on stuff, but, like, to him, it was like, you're not putting in the time as I am, so why would I listen? Which, you know, I yeah. said, I don't yeah. blame him for that. Yeah. So, I mean, this year we got some guys, some key guys, you know, uh, Spillane. Oh, Shit, dog, yeah. Who would have thought, bro? See, it's crazy. I knew he was a dog. When I, it's crazy. I just seen him, you know, 
randomly watching a Steelers game. He gets a pick six. I'm like, all right, undrafted, rookie, like, tryout guys. Like, yeah. cool. Came to the Raiders. I'm like, oh, man, I know exactly who you are. So yeah, yeah. he came. He's he's one of the guys. He has the green dot, you know. Yeah. Talks to PG. It's, so he's like, beginning of the week, get preparing. Like, he's like, hey, uh, what's the call? Like, what's the leading call? What are you thinking? Like, you know, so he's one of those guys. He He's going to be a coach one of these days for sure. I like that. And I'm then not... uh, Epps for the secondary. Yeah, like, Marcus. 100% smartest guys I know, like. He's on that. So, I mean, him, Spillane, PG, plus the surrounding coaches that we had already, like, everybody bought in. Everybody was on the same page, and, and, you know, everybody cared about it. Like, you know, I forget what week it was, but we were a good defense. We we weren't top ten yet. Yeah. But uh, PG came up there and, like, we got to go from good to great. Like, this is it right now. And we won on this little, what, nine, six, six to nine game stretch going crazy. Like, Bro. You know, top 10, <clears throat> top five in some categories. Like, Do you know where you guys finished off the season at? Uh, I want to say, nah. I want to say it was, like, ninth maybe. No, you guys are top 10 for sure. Yeah. But then since AP scoring, took over, yeah. you guys have been number one. Number one for yeah. sure. So that's And that's why I'm, that's like, crazy. two different seasons completely. Like It's crazy, man. It, it feels crazy. It yeah. was crazy just to see you guys celebrate so many times. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, they ran out of celebrations. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. But that's, like, just – that's all stuff that we talked about. Like, man, when we make a play, we out here celebrating every play. Like, yeah. And that's – that's I be trying to get out there. You know, I have my little packages, and I try to bring the same juice, yeah. like the same energy, like every play. Like, because that – it matters, bro. It, yeah. it, it's I a see, lot I to see. get to this point, you know, just the league itself. Yeah. So when you out there, you make your play, you got to make it known. Man, you got you got that huge sack in the last game, bro. Yeah, we was yeah, all hype, bro. Yeah, it was. <laughs> she threw up the S a little bit. I was yeah. like, okay. I came to the side. They like you threw up the T's. I'm like, motherfucker, my yeah. shoulder <laughs> locked up. Like, my shoulder <laughs> locked up, man. It's like, <laughs> think you trying to copy us? Oh no, nah, nah I'm right now, nah, bro. Right they seen it, man. Yeah, we, we seen know. it, dog. We seen those who know. They seen five, it. dog. <laughs> <laughs> man, again, appreciate you coming on, man. Yep. Taking time to come on our podcast. You're yep. probably like one of the the people we've been waiting for because like we gotta have family on, man. It's, oh, yeah, it's <laughs> gotta, <laughs> <laughs> gotta ask family. Like, gotta have family on, but nah. Appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, we'll definitely be rooting for you. We'll, we'll yeah. training camps, whatever. We'll we'll see you over there and whatnot. Yep. yep. And hopefully have a bigger role this year, man. Yes, sir. Hopefully. Like I said, if you get bored, man, hit me up. My barbecue. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm right here by you. We hop on uh, Warzone or something like that. Or we, yeah, yeah I like that. Wait, you play Warzone or just Call of Duty? Warzone. Yeah, Warzone. Warzone. All right, we got we got. Hop. I'll kill people. Yeah. I, I, got some, exactly. I got some bodies to my name. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> I got I got to get my. Like KDR hey, up there, but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, with that being said, again, Raider Nation, y'all can catch me, uh, Asimov Raider, on all social media platforms. Y'all can catch me at Mr. Fitz, F I T Z 714, on all platforms. Y'all know what it is, Raiders, bitch. Again, until the next one, we are out. Peace.